So I've been reading a lot of messages. Hey, Father, it's time to load the boat. AMC is at the lowest ever. And I understand, technically, it's like 30 cents. I mean, it's not even three bucks if you consider the one for 10 reverse stock split. But the thing is that I'm not sure. It may possibly go lower. It's, I know that seems hard to believe, but it may actually still go lower. Look, there's a lot of dilution continuously going on here. There's no catalyst, in my opinion. There's nothing happening. There's nothing to prove to me that AMC is going to make this major turnaround. And look, I'm with all of you. I'm not, I'm not leaving, okay? But as far as adding, I don't know. I, I don't know. I'm really focused on DJT right now. You know, I started uh, talking about DJT around 14. And uh, that thing went to 80. You know, it's hard to, <laughs> when you got a rocket ship like that, it's, it's kind of hard to focus on Amy, who's in a dump right now. But it doesn't have to be. I, I say it all the time to all of you. Uh, I don't think you take me seriously. But if you all come to my effing live stream, if we can start generating millions of people, a follower can make the impossible possible. I, you might, I might shock all you mother effers. I'm not asking for any investments. Okay, I just need a gigantic friggin' audience to accomplish the, the big catalyst, the dream. Okay, and you know what that dream is. Vegas, baby. Vegas, AMC needs a Las Vegas casino. Very difficult task. Very hard. But we potentially would not need Adam Aaron's you know, permission or the board of directors. Again, it could have something... That has nothing to do with the movie business. A Fallen Majestic Casino. But I can't do it unless I have a gigantic large audience. Like in other words, the audience that was once in AMC, 10 million apes, that would probably do it. Again, I don't want any money. I'm not asking for money, but just a constant, like, friggin' audience. Okay, then you got something exciting like that. Oh, my friggin' uh, pants will go on fire for, for Amy. I'll be... This a fold is on fire for Amy again. I'm getting excited, getting higher. It's just hard to get excited when nothing is effing going on. You know, like I said, you know, we need to, all of us, you see, people have like these blinded ambitions where they're just like, I, I read it on X. They're just like, never leaving, never leaving, never leaving and all this shit. It's like, I get that. I'm not leaving either. But it's not, it's not really a choice, <laughs> you know. But the thing is, like, they have this blinded ambition. It's like, everything is going to go great. There's no freaking catalyst. You got a company that keeps diluting this freaking stock so much, it's becoming like a freaking Perrier. It's like you go to a bar, you're drinking Jameson, and they freaking pour a freaking bottle of Perrier into Jameson. It, it's just too much dilution. There's, there's no catalyst. Freaking focusing on popcorn or putting it in more freaking supermarkets. With the brand of AMC... You need something big. I say it once, I say it again. AMC needs to follow, in my opinion, in the footsteps of Hard Rock. Hard Rock, I know I keep saying this, was once a place you just get a beer or a burger, listen to some rock and roll music, check out some rock and roll memorabilia. It became a hotel casino giant. A hotel casino giant. And like I said, people sometimes say to me, hey, father, what happens if Adam Aaron wants nothing to do with this idea? F Adam Aaron. <laughs> okay, what happens if the AMC Board of Directors want nothing to do with this idea? F the AMC Board of Directors. Like I said, here's the acronym. AMC. Ape Father, Majestic Casino. Has nothing to do with the movie business, but that would cause so much effing sizzle, so much effing excitement. Forget about it. That's what AMC needs right now. And again, I just want to be crystal clear. I'm not asking for any investments. This is something I want to do on my own. Oh, by myself, financially. But I need an audience. I need people to listen. That's all. You know what they say? Sometimes you need uh, someone to lend it, lend the ears. Come to my live streams and let's talk about it. Video is not financial advice. I'm not a financial planner. Videos for entertainment purposes only.